Assalamualaikum to everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Point. Students, today I'm here with the chapter 2, NSM 1, Integers, Rationals and Real Number, question 3 of exercise 2D. So here it is a question 3 part A. Students, you can see that we have fractions and there is a multiplication sign between the fractions. So it is very easy question. Now it is your own choice. Rather, you want to multiply the numerator and denominator and then divide the terms fraction. Or rather, you can simply just cut down the terms to make it easy. So I get the approach that is cutting down the fraction. In the fraction, we also cut the numerator and denominator and cross cutting. So 3 ones are 3, 3 fives are 15 first. And second, you can see that I cut 4 and 8 also because 5 and 8 are not uh, easily cut into not come in the same table. So we can get the cross approach also for 1s are 4, 4, 2s are 8. Now it is all done because when I see the terms now what we have get that is 1 and 1 and the next is 5 and 2 that is not simplified more or not come in the same table. So just write down the terms from this fraction there is left behind 5 by 2 because it is also written down now in the next we have 1 by 1 now what is need to do nextly you, you can see that there is a multiplication sign so that's mean numerator multiply with the numerator in this fraction we have the numerator 5 and then the next thing we have 1 so 5 ones are 5 and 2 is multiplied by 1 so 2 ones are 2 now you can see this fraction that is, is an improper fraction. Why? So it is an improper fraction because we have a bigger term you know, numerator. So we divide this fraction in the mixed form. Or you can convert this fraction in the mixed form. To convert this fraction in the mixed form, we divide this term 5 by 2. Now to 2 is 4. 4 minus 5, 1. 1 is your reminder. So you have to write the distribution in the form of mixed form. Write down this remainder in the coefficient place of coefficient basically it form of cyclic process. 2 in the divisor in place of divisor and again the divisor 2 will be shifted down by. So it is all about your question 3 part A. You can see that now we have converted this improper fraction is a mixed fraction. That is the answer of part A. Now, part B of question 3. So, you have to confer, uh, convert this mixed fraction. Firstly, 5 to 0, 10. 10 plus 3, 13. 1, 3, 13 divided by 5. Now, students, you can also see how we have the multiplication sign between the two fractions. In the first question, there was plus and minus sign. So whenever there is a plus and minus sign, we just have to take the LCM of the fraction, equalize the denominator of the fraction and then solve further. Whenever you have a multiplication sign, so there is no need to take the LCM of the fraction. You just have simply multiply the fractions. Just observe the sign, which sign you have. If you have deviant sign, then you solve according to that plus and minus sign, then take the LCM and you have the multiplication sign. So there's no need to do any other process. Just cut out the terms, the terms that can be the same table or you can also multiply the terms. Okay. When you take the LCM and there is a plus and minus sign. Again, you look at your sign that you have the multiplication sign. So there is no need to multiply or take the LCM of, there's no need to take the LCM of 25 and 26 and 5. So we can do the cross cutting 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 5, 13 ones are 13 and 13 twos are 26. Write on the term from which we have get the minus what is left behind then ma uh, sorry 1 then 1 and 1 by 2. Now multiply the numerators 1 ones are 1, 2 ones are 2. Now look at your fraction that it is a proper improper mixed fraction. Yes, we get the proper fraction because your numerator is smaller than your denominator. So that is the answer of your part B. Now in part B, you can see that in the part uh, C, in, in part B we have multiplication, in the part C we have deviant sign. No. Now when you ever you have the deviant sign, so firstly you have to convert this deviant sign in the multiplication. So 15 by 4, we 
also solve this type of question in your practices now so now you have the idea about this question whenever there is a deviant sign so what is need to do firstly you have to convert this deviant sign into multiplication okay now i have just convert this deviant sign into multiplication whenever we have to convert this sign so the term that is next to the deviant sign will become reciprocal now what is the reciprocal that your term will be inverted suppose if i have a so what will be the reciprocal of a 1 by a okay if i have the star sign so what is the reciprocal uh, reciprocal of the star sign 1 by star same in this situation i have the uh, term 5 by 2 so this 5 by 2 one converted so that means 1 divided by 5 by 2 so this 2 will be shifted in the numerator so 2 by 5 basically your term will be inverted your numerator will become your denominator and denominator will become your numerator so we have reciprocal of this term now we do the cross cutting you look at the terms 2 by 5 will never solve with each other but cross cutting is also possible so 5 1 is a 5 5 3 is a 15 done now 2 and 4 also come in the same table 2 1 is a 2 2 2 is a 4 yes now write down the terms that we have got in result of simplification 3 by 2 and from here we get 1 by 1 now multiply the numerator of both the fractions 3 1 0 3 2 1 0 2 now we have 3 in the numerator you can also observe that or compare that we have a greater or bigger term in our numerator so that is improper fraction we have to convert this improper fraction into proper fraction so 3 divide 3 by 2 2 ones are 2 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 now write this term or write this division in mixed form what is your remainder that is 1 co uh, quotient 1 and your divisor 2 just make this as cyclic process so 1 whole 1 by 2 is your answer of part C now the part D of, 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 of question 3. So, firstly, you have to con uh, convert this mixed fraction. 9 ones are 9 plus 6 plus 7, 16 by 9. Write in the d divide sign 4 by 3. Now, students, we have to convert this mixed fraction is in proper fraction. Now, what is need to do next? Solve this, uh, these two fractions with V and sign. So, 16 by 9, whenever we have the divide sign. So, firstly, what is need to do? Just we convert this deviant sign into multiplication sign. I just write down this deviant into multiplication sign. So, what is our next process? Next process is that your next term will become reciprocal. And what is the reciprocal? You just have to write, term, uh, write down your term in this form. Inverted your terms, your numerator will be shifted towards your denominator and denominator towards your numerator that is called your reciprocal now you have to solve this fractions do the cross multiplication 3 ones are 3 3 3 is a 9 4 ones are 4 4 4 is a 16 now what we have get uh, get from this 4 by 3 and from here we get 1 by 1 now multiply the terms Four, when 4 multiply with 1, we get the 4 ones are 4 and 3 ones are 3. Now observe the terms that you have get the improper fraction. And why so it is an improper fraction? Because we have bigger term in the numerator. So you have to divide 4 by 3. 3 ones are 3 and 4 minus 3 is 1. Now write in this division, your division in the cyclic process or mixed fraction. Write down your remainder towards your coefficient 1 and your quotient, sorry, quotient in your divisor and divisor towards your remainder 3. So that is all about your part D of question 3. So students, it is all about your question 3 and question 3 is similar to your question 5. If you look at your book and you have to book that. Uh, look at this question that we have a question 5 that is similar to your question 3. So in the next, next video, we will do the question five or of exercise student inshallah so till that Allah Hafiz and if there is any query that is related to your multiplication doing concept so put your query in the comment box thank you